everyone, it's Madison. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am in my new apartment. This is the first sit down video I'm filming in here and I am so excited. I'm loving it. Um, school's crazy already, but you know, we're chugging along. We're gonna enjoy it and make the most of it and hopefully classes go well this semester. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to y'all about some study tips for online classes. If y'all did not know, I am a sophomore here at the University of Colorado Boulder. I am studying aerospace engineering and I'm actually an ambassador for the department. So back in March of 2020, all of our classes were moved online. So I moved out of the dorms and went back home. Um, again, classes were online. So I got a lot of practice with classes being online and figuring out how to study everything like that then. And I also did about seven credits this summer. I say about because I dropped one of my classes halfway through the summer. So I started with seven credits and I finished with four um, of online classes over the summer. I did differential equations and then data structures is the one that I actually finished. Differential equations wasn't gonna transfer anyways. So I just wanted to see part of the material before um, I had to retake the class at CU with linear algebra. Regardless, I feel like I've had a decent amount of experience with online classes and figuring out how to study. And today I thought I would share my tips with y'all. So let's get started. First things first is to read the textbook the night before. Now this is something that I have not done yet, but this is my plan for this year. Um, so I haven't tried this out for a full semester. Last spring, I really, really struggled. I was the kid that was going to office hours three days a week. I was going to two calc lectures a day just because I felt like I wasn't processing the information enough and I have made more of an effort to read the textbook the night before, go over the material, see it before I have the lecture about it, then when I show up to class the next day, I'm a bit more prepared, I knew what to expect, and I don't feel like I'm playing catch up the whole time because I went through it the night before on my own time. So by reading the textbook the night before, you can ensure that you're gonna see the material and understand it on your own time before you're forced to try to comprehend it, get down all the notes, everything like that within a set 50 minutes, hour and a half, however long your lecture time is. Um, I personally love this just because it's allowed me to see the material in two different ways, which is again, just helping me process it and understand it a bit better. Next up is to put your phone away. I know as hard as it is, um, put your phone away, turn it off, turn on airplane mode, put it upside down, whatever you need to do to make sure that you're giving your lecture your full attention. Um, whether your lecture is 50 minutes or two and a half hours, I know I have one that's two and a half hours and it's so hard. Um, just make sure to give it your full attention. It deserves your full attention and it's in your best interest to make sure that you're focusing all of your attention or at least trying to on what you're doing and what you're trying to learn. I understand some classes are easier than others to do that with. Um, I know that my two and a half hour lecture is actually humanities lecture and the class is called School and Society and it's not like a Diffie Q class or a thermodynamics class where I feel like I need to be focused every single second. Um, so just you want to make sure your brain's on, your brain's focused, and your brain's paying attention to what you need to be retaining and processing and understanding. Like I said, I know it kind of depends on the class, but um, especially some of your harder lectures, make sure that your phone is not going to be a distraction to you during those times. Alrighty, I also think it is really important to have an organized study space. Um, I know I am now doing class from home, from my apartment, so just making sure my room is clean, my desk is organized, my bed's made, everything's picked up, really can just help me focus on what I'm doing. I feel like when my desk is a pit, my bed's not made, things are disorganized, I just feel a lot more scattered and frazzled, and I can't focus on what I'm doing. I'm thinking about my to-do list and oh, I need to do my laundry and oh, I need to pick up my room and this and that versus thinking about what I'm trying to take notes on, what I'm trying to learn and what my class is actually about. So just trying to keep your study space organized wherever you're studying can really just help you hone in on what you're trying to learn without your brain feeling like it's going in 20 different directions. Maybe it'll be only going in five because you're not worried about little things like how your room looks and if you did the dishes, things like that. I also feel like it's really important to try to not study on your bed. Um, I know it is hard and I know I do it a little bit, but just really training your brain to have a difference between your study space and your sleep space can really just help you stay focused. 
um, your brain associates where you are a lot more subconsciously than you may realize. So I know last semester or last year when I was living in the dorms, I had two beds. One was my actual bed and then one was my roommate's old bed because she ended up leaving and I was left in a double with two beds and everything by myself for the remainder of the year. I put that bed lower to the ground and acted as if it were like a couch and just made it my study space and I tried to not fall asleep there because as soon as you fall asleep, your brain is gonna associate that spot with sleep. It'll make you a bit more tired, make it harder to focus, things like that. Um, additionally, sitting in a chair at a desk is so much better for your posture than hunching over on your bed. Um, so just try to make an effort at least a few hours a day to get off your bed, study somewhere else. It'll help you stay more focused and help your posture. This one's probably gonna be either a lot easier or a lot harder than I think it will, and that is get up and move. Taking breaks in between your studying can really help your brain just reset and help you focus more the next time you go back to it. It's also really good for your body to get up and move a little bit, um, whether you just get up and you go make some lunch, go for a walk, go to the gym, whatever it is, just try to take the time to not do your lecture, not do your homework for four hours straight. Break it up, take 10 minutes every hour, whatever it is, whatever you need to do to make sure you're more productive. Um, I know sometimes it's really easy to get restless, get hungry, get thirsty, whatever it is when you're trying to focus for a long period of time constantly. And honestly, it can make you so much more productive if you take out a little bit of time to go do something else, remove your mind, remove your body from the studying situation and come back to it later because you'll come back much more focused than you were when you were still doing it, if that makes sense. So you'll come back more focused than you were before you left in turn just making you process your information better be much more productive when you're studying and doing your homework and overall just help your body feel so much better about what it's doing because it's not getting antsy it's not getting restless your body's fuel you have food in your stomach whatever it is make sure you take the time to get up and move go do something else like i said it might be easier or harder now in this situation it might be easier because you might really want to get out of your bedroom really get out of your office and go somewhere else but at the same time i also know my bedroom is like my safe space and sometimes i'm just not in the mood to go work out sometimes i know i have a snack stash in my closet so why would i go eat the healthy food out in the kitchen if that makes sense but just try to make an effort because you will not regret it and then last but not least is to go study somewhere else. Um, whether it's your living room, whether it's your friend's house, whether it's a library or a park, go somewhere else. Um, I personally find that a change of scenery can help me focus so much more. It goes back to the whole concept of feeling restless when I'm sitting at the same desk for seven, eight hours a day, whether or not I'm getting up and moving in the middle, being in the same spot for the entire time for days on end can make me really restless and can make anyone just a lot less focused. Um, so just find a spot a couple of days a week to go change it up, whether you're at one place in the morning, one place in the afternoon, whatever it is, just try to make a change of scenery. Your brain will notice and you'll be so much more focused because like I said earlier, sitting in your room is when you're gonna notice, oh my gosh, my room's a mess. Or when you're, you know, things like that. You really just wanna try to bring your brain somewhere else and make sure when you're doing your schoolwork, your brain's only focus is on your schooling. Um, you're paying a lot of money to be at school. It's a lot of time and it's a lot of effort. And it's really important to make sure that what you're doing in the moment is gonna be beneficial for you. Otherwise, it's not gonna be worth your time. So it's all about efficiency and productivity. You wanna make sure that your brain is as focused as possible during the times that you're trying to study and making sure that you're not wasting time, wasting your precious time and your money and your effort when your brain's halfway focused on your schoolwork and halfway focused on everything else. Again, productivity and efficiency will save you time, help boost your grades because you won't be wasting unnecessary amounts of time trying to catch up, whatever it is. Goes back to the entire idea of trying to read your textbook the night before. You wanna go in and not feel like you're playing catch up. You wanna go into your lecture feeling like you have some understanding and a background knowledge so that you're not wasting your time after lecture trying to figure out, fill in the gaps, and you might even be spending more time after your lecture than you would have if you read the textbook before, if that makes sense. Um, I hope this was helpful and I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to be in my apartment and I really appreciate y'all watching. I love all of your support and love during these times and I cannot wait to be making more content for y'all this semester. 
thank you all so 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 much for watching i love you all so much peace out have an awesome awesome day bye